The orientation program today has been organized by the Parliamentary Research and Training Institute for Democracies, Pride of the Lok Sabha Secretary. Let me describe in brief about Pride. As many of us may not be aware of it, it is the training division of the Lok Sabha Secretariat, and they organize many capacity uh, building programs for the parliamentarians, staff of the uh, state legislatures and others. I'm delighted to welcome all the resource uh, experts who have come all the way from the parliament, New Delhi, representing a variety of mechanism to share their knowledge and experience. I'm also happy to inform you that we have 29 new faces amongst the elected members in the 14th House. It gives me immense pleasure to inform you all that in the history of Nagaland Legislative Assembly, we have two ladies elected for the first time. I'm fully confident that your knowledge, experience, and expertise will provide an important insight to the elected honorable members representing the people of Nagaland. It has been my desire to conduct such an orientation program since the last tenure. And getting re-elected as uh, the speaker for a second time, I had announced in the recently concluded budget session, uh, which was well received by the House, led by the leader of the House, Honorable Chief Minister. I have the pleasure to inform that in a House of 60 members, in this 14th Nagaland Legislative House, we have 29 new members from different background, including two women legislators, as has just been announced, who are ready to take on new challenges and responsibilities. I compliment all of you on becoming members of the Nagaland Legislative Assembly. It is a matter of privilege to be elected representative of the people, and such privilege imposes great responsibility on all of us. As a lawmaker, we need to keep ourselves abreast of the changing trends and educate ourselves to enable us to discharge our duties and responsibilities more effectively. The legislators being the bridge between the public and the government. Our primary responsibility is to find solutions to people's problem and to make the legislation more effective. It is necessary that the people's representatives should be sensitive to the people, problems of the people and work towards fulfilling their hopes and aspirations. We should inculcate in us an appreciation of our roles and responsibilities as representative of the people and familiarize with the mechanism of parliamentary institution. To be an effective legislator, we should understand the Constitution of India, the rules of procedure and conduct of business in the House, and the practices and conventions of the House as a prerequisite in our sincere efforts towards public service. Taking this opportunity, I am proud to announce that the Nagaland a state of Nagaland created history by becoming the first in the country uh, to implement the national Evidan program, which is called the NEVA application. With the collective support of the government officers, we are moving towards becoming completely paperless in the coming future. To keep pace with the advancement of information technology, the Nagaland Legislative Assembly launched the National e Vidhan application in March 2022 during the budget session. And so I take the opportunity to congratulate the team members of SBL, which is the implementing agency of the project. Their meticulous, sincere, and professional approach in the project has ensured 
project being implemented in the shortest possible time. I give my support and appreciation to the team. I also have the unwavering hope that the bright team members from Lok Sabha Secretariat who are here with us today, led by Shri Vinay Kumar Mohan, Joint Secretary of the Lok Sabha Secretariat, will provide all of us an opportunity for in-depth understanding of the various subject matters to discuss during the two-day orientation program. The vast amount of experience, expertise, and exposures that they are bringing along will no doubt help all of us in equipping ourselves and at the same time enhancing our own calibers in our collective efforts to bring about a robust system of transparency, accountability, inclusiveness in our governance. I wish the orientation program a grand success and hope that all of you would make this two-day interaction a meaningful one. I'm also happy to inform each and every one here today, especially the pride team members who are here today, that in the last 10 years, many of our elected members who are now um, in the 14th House as uh, second time members have already participated in the research and training program of uh, Bride initiated at New Delhi. And uh, they are here with us, a few of them. I'm sure their experience they will share during the interaction with all of you. Uh, I wish the Bride team members all the best. I hope you will enjoy the hospitality and the um, of Nagaland, especially Kohima. And I also wish the Assembly Secretariat, officers and staff led by the Secretary in Charge for a brilliant um, display of your professionalism in the inaugural program of the orientation. Now, with these words, I have the honor to inaugurate the orientation program, which I hope will motivate each one of us in our continued effort towards public welfare and public service. Thank you. God bless all. Nagaland TV, Sop Manulaga Awas. Watch us live on Geo TV and on your television sets as well. For Dumapu viewers, we are on channel number 994 in Global Chapter and Kohima and Mokokchong viewers, switch to channel number 138 on Hornbill Digital. For all news and updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter.